Hello, I'm Sunni from ICU. Now uh, we have the R Studio view. We know what uh, each of these panel in R Studio looks like and uh, what happens with this uh, red colored uh, name. So what we will see now is uh, when you have the scripts and later on also data and plots, it's uh, going to be in some place and what makes your life easier is uh, creating something called a project. So having a project allows you to have everything in the same place and also it will uh, allow you to uh, retrieve things uh, in a more efficient manner. So how do you create a project? Of course, you can uh, go uh, uh, to file and create a new project. That's uh, one way to do it, right? File new projects. And you can also like uh, have open project, open new projects and things like that. And uh, another way to uh, create a project is uh, uh, clicking the upper right corner here. Uh, they say it says project and there's none right now. So let's create a project uh, in this environment. So let's do a new project. And there are two, uh, three kind of uh, options that you'll see afterwards. And you can create a project in a new directory, which means you're going to create a new directory and then a project will be created in that directory. Or you can create a project in an existing directory. Quite often, you probably already have a directory where you want to have your uh, analysis or like data and plots and all these things. So uh, you can just choose the existing directory in those cases. However, if you don't have it, then uh, you choose the new directory. The difference uh, uh, later on in the practical manner is if you create a new directory, and uh, create a project, uh, automatically the name of the directory will become the name of the project. And sometimes we don't want it. And uh, unless you are fine with that, uh, I suggest that, that you uh, create a project in an existing directory. So let's uh, click the uh, create a project in an existing directory. Now we see this uh, dialogue window that says create project from existing directory and you can uh, browse uh, the, uh, your computer to create uh, or to create a location uh, or to find a location where uh, you want to uh, create the uh, direct uh, project. So after you found and click the browse and find the directory where you want to create the project, uh, in my case, I just put it on the desktop. Uh, this is what you have, and then you can create a project. So the project name is now test. And what you immediately see here is uh, the console is the same, but the, uh, the file, the R script file uh, that we created earlier is now gone. So uh, we should uh, try to create uh, that later on, or like maybe I can recreate it here. I click file, then new file, and then R script. Now we have our familiar view with the four panels here. Another thing that you notice is on the lower right hand uh, side corner, the lower right hand panel, uh, automatically the directory uh, is being um, found by R Studio and the project is being created. Uh, I call it the test project and uh, this is called the test project. Uh, we are going to create new folders uh, in this uh, folder because uh, that would make the organization of materials easy and three new folders uh, will be created. You can simply click new folder and then it says uh, type the name of the new folder and one of the uh, folder will be called uh, data. Then it's being created. Another folder that you're going to create is scripts. And this is where you're going to save your scripts. And then uh, you also want to have a folder where you want to, uh, where you can save your plots. So let's create a folder, folder called plots. So now uh, you can see in the directory for desktop test test, uh, there is a project called test R project. And we have data, we have scripts, we have plots. Uh, three folders are being created. 
And uh, let's try to type hello here. And uh, this would be our first uh, uh, script uh, that we just created. And uh, we're going to uh, save this in our script folder. So let's save it. The way to save it is you go to file and save, or you can use control S or command S, the usual save uh, short key. And then it automatically shows that uh, uh, folder where you have the R project and also the three folders that you created. This is a script. So we are gonna go to the script folder and let's just call it hello. The script is called hello. You just save it. And now once you save it, the extension of the file is .r. It's called hello.r. And now we have a hello.r and let's check the scripts folder. And here we have hello.r. Interestingly, the size is here. It says five bytes and uh, five bits. And we have uh, H-E-L-L-O. Uh, yeah, but it's only five bits. So anyway, uh, so uh, now uh, we were able to create uh, uh, folders. We saved the script and we created an R project. And uh, the name of the R project doesn't have to be test, uh, but any R project that name that you want to use can be used. And uh, I suggest that you try to use a very descriptive term. So if it's for your class project, maybe uh, use the class name. If it's for your research project, uh, use the abbreviation of your research project as uh, the name of the R project. And if you have uh, further languages or different kind of data set, then maybe you can create new R projects, or maybe you can uh, run all these things uh, in all the different uh, bits of uh, same analysis in one R project.